Hi viewers, it's Ket. Welcome to another video. I will go in depth in this informative overview regarding the different types of unique Obby Mahler builds on Old School RuneScape. For those of you thinking about creating an Obby Mahler account, or for those that have already do have an Obby Mahler account but would like to explore the different options or extents to what your build could entail, this video is right for you. Before we jump right on into the specifics, let us first discuss the combat configuration of the game. To some, this might be considered common knowledge, but for others, this should give you a better understanding of the different components that make up your combat level and your account. Your combat level in game is a combined configuration of your attack, strength, defense, ranged, magic, prayer, and hit point stats. So generally, for obby maulers, it is important to stay melee based on your account. Staying melee based means that your combat level is primarily influenced by your melee stats, aka your attack and strength levels. Allow me to break it down. Every attack level you gain raises your overall combat level by 0.33, so essentially a third of a combat level. Strength works the same way, increasing your overall combat level by 0.33 for every strength level you get. Every defense level you get increases your combat level by 0.25, essentially a fourth of a combat level. And hit points works in the same manner, increasing your overall combat level by 0.25 as well for each level. Now prayer on the other hand is a completely different discussion, and for more information on prayer for Abby Mahler builds, please view my prayer video linked in the description below. Aside from the strength, attack, defense, and hit points configuration we just covered, ranged and magic stats are completely different, as they both are influenced by each other and are also correlated to your combined attack and strength levels. The higher your attack and strength levels are overall, the more ranged and magic levels you can get without affecting your combat level. Also, you can get the same number of ranged levels as your magic levels. So for instance, if your account has 60 ranged, you can get 60 magic without gaining any combat levels. No difference at all. And attack and strength levels do not work like this, guys. So for every level you gain in those categories, it affects your combat level individually. Same with hit points and defense levels. These do not share a correlation at all either. So for those viewing, allow me to bust the myth right here. Gaining a higher HP or defense level does not mean that you can also gain ranged and magic levels without them negatively affecting your combat level. Range and magic levels are only based on your overall attack and strength levels, okay? So that's why Abby Muller builds do not have a ranged or magic level that is very high. With this being said, an account with a 1 attack and 99 strength can only achieve the levels of 67 ranged and magic without affecting its overall combat level. This is considered staying melee based. Gaining additional ranged and magic levels beyond this point will start to affect and raise your combat level. For more information on configuring and calculating your own combat level, use online combat calculators such as this one found here on the oldschool.tools website. And not to lie guys, I've spent plenty of my time on calculators such as this one and I really do urge you to check them out to see the differences for yourself. Now that we have discussed the combat level configuration, we can now proceed to the different types of obby builds and why people choose to obtain certain levels on their obbies. The standard obby mauler account is of course the obby mauler pure. Pure typically means one defense in the world of RuneScape. Generally, the standard obby pure is one attack, 60 plus strength, and one defense. And you can see maxed obby pures range from the mid 50s combat bracket all the way to the low 60s combat bracket with varying hit points and prayer levels. An obby peer is designed for players that want the maximum amount of KO potential for the combat level investment they pick. The idea of an obby is to maintain a low combat for PKing no matter which build you choose, so just remember that by gaining additional attack and defense levels, these levels do not play a factor in your overall kill potential as they do not add any additional max hits on their own. Proceed with the fact that your opponents in PvP also gain benefits from each level that they gain as well. The standard obby pure is quite strong indeed being regarded as one of the most overpowered account builds in all of RuneScape, and being able to max out at such a low combat level comparatively. However, obbies are typically known to be from anywhere between 1 attack to a maximum of 20 attack, having anywhere from 60 to 99 strength, and also 1 to 99 defense, hit points, and prayer. Aside from the standard 199-1 build, there are further options people decide to achieve for their account, including attack levels and defense levels that end up defining your account build. Let's start with attack. 
There are different reasons why players gain attack levels on their Abimala accounts. Options that are commonly used or theoretically strong are 7 attack, 14 attack, and 20 attack, purely based off the mathematical theory of gaining extra attack boosts from drinking super attack potions during PvP scenarios. This ensures the maximization of accuracy for the combat level investment. Refer to this chart for a visual demonstration of this. Other reasons people gain attack levels are simply to access a few different quests, resulting in the 13 attack and 16 attack builds. And third, people gain attack levels for aesthetic purposes as well. 5 attack, 10 attack, and 20 attack all look pleasing to the eye and all add a little bit of accuracy along the way. Now I'm going to provide a few examples. Let's break down why these are all key levels to potentially achieve and the differences between the levels including what makes them unique. Here is an example of a 7 attack Obby Mahler Pier. You can notice one thing important already, this Obby Mahler Pier has black dragonhide chaps which are accessible at 70 ranged. 7 attack builds can effectively max out at 71 ranged in magic without affecting their own combat level, staying melee based. This is also a high performing build option as 7 attack is the first level of attack where a player can get an additional boost off of a super attack potion, increasing your attack level by 6 instead of 5. 7 attack is an investment of 2.3 combat levels. One thing to note here is, at the time of recording there is no quest available to reach from 1 to 7 attack. Players just typically train this, or it is an option if players do mess up and get uh, 2 attack or 3 attack, they want to go to 7 attack to maximize their accuracy and to grab those black dehyde chaps. One thing to note about 7 attack builds is that I generally do not recommend getting 5 attack as the maximum amount of range and magic levels that you can get is 69 which is barely under the cusp of obtaining the black dragonhide chaps. It is much worth it to gain the extra attack boost off of the super attack potion and getting the black chaps by getting the 7 attack. Next I'm going to be skipping over the 10 and 13 attack options and saving those for later as they typically refer to a defense build. So the next option I'm going to be discussing is the 16 attack option for pure builds. This player is an example of this build. 16 attack is obtained by completing the death plateau quest, thus obtaining the access to climbing boots. Unfortunately though, this build has seen its better days, as climbing boots used to be the best in slot footwear option for pure builds. Now we have spiked manacles, and as these exist, this build has been pushed to the wayside. I will say however that 16 attack builds are very very strong for other reasons, which include a massive amount of ranged and magic levels at their disposal, capping out at 77 respectively. This gives an extra 10 ranged and magic levels that a 1 attack build does not have, and a massive influx in melee accuracy. This build can access the blowpipe and other high level ranged weapons, but do remember that ranged XP is still very valuable on an obby, so use at your own risk. Next is the 20 attack build, and this is commonly referred to as the highest attack level an obby can potentially acquire. Ranged and magic levels can cap at 79 with this build, and you can get an extra plus one boost from a super attack potion at this level as well, making this a very strong and viable option for PvP. This build is very similar to the 16 attack build as well, except for the fact that it has a couple extra attack levels and a couple extra ranged and magic levels at its disposal. Now that we have discussed the pure build options, let's dive right into the different defense levels and what they can provide for obbies, if you do wish to take this route. By gaining defense levels, you will become a tank rather than a pure build. The different defense options that are available for obbies include 1 defense, 13 defense, 30 defense, 40 defense, 45 defense, 60 defense, and 75 defense to be viable in PvP scenarios. So let's now discuss what these builds have to bring to the table, starting with highlighting the 13 defense build. 13 defense is a great option as it unlocks Adamant Gloves and the coveted Slayer Helmet on an obby. Adamant Gloves are the highest RFD glove that any obby tank can achieve, being slightly better than the Myth Gloves and Combat Bracelet respectively. 13 defense is also considerably tanky for the 3 combat levels investment that it has, and it unlocks the white and black armors. This option unlocks countless of hours of content as players with this obby build want to achieve all of the different colors of Slayer Helmets, and that's a grind in itself. 
This option is also viable for post 55 Slayer training as the helmet provides a great deal of accuracy and strength while on a Slayer task. The quest for 13 defense is nature's spirit and while most of you may think that 10 defense is the only requirement for the Slayer Helm, it's actually in fact better to go 13 defense to access the nature spirit quest and gain access to the adamant gloves. And this is where 10 attack and 13 attack options come into play. With 13 defense being such a popular build, most people further quest their tank for access to fairy rings. Fairy Tale 1 and 2 quests are needed for this and grant EXP for 13 attack. By being 13 attack now, you can achieve the Black Defender. However, if you do not want to do the Fairy Tale quests, but still want the Black Defender, you can train up to 10 attack, but this is generally not recommended as it is barely better than the Zamrock book. The next option to go for is 30 defense. This level is now viable because of the new Inquisitor armament released with the Nightmare Boss. This player here is wearing full Inquisitor, which has the best crush accuracy attack bonus for any armor set in the game and also provides a very very large amount of strength bonus as well. If you are not greatly endowed with GP in the game, I highly do not consider this option to be for you, but if you are a daredevil and wish to attempt a newer obby tank build, give this one a shot. Make sure you do complete nature spirit if you do create this build. Now moving on to 40 defense, and this is quite possibly one of the best tank options to go for, as the fighter torso, rune armor, and the aforementioned inquisitor's armors are all accessible at this level. The fighter torso is the best in slot for strength bonus in runescape, granting plus 4 strength bonus for the torso slot. Coupled with the relatively cheap and effective armors that 40 defense has to offer such as rune, this is a very effective build with access to many different fashion scape opportunities and quite a bit of tankiness. The quests for this build include Nature Spirit and Dragon Slayer. Next we have 45 defense, and this is a very similar option to the 40 defense build, but it also allows access to helpful pieces of gear such as the Fighter Hat and the Berserker Helm. It is only recommended to go 45 defense if you do the quest Fremenic Trials, which grants you 16 attack as well, so beware. The 16 attack and 45 defense build is referred to as the Obby Zerk. This gives a substantial boost to accuracy, meaning more ranged and magic levels as well, and also being considerably tanky. So just like the 16 attack pure build, this actually is a different quest that you have to do, such as the Fremenic Trials instead of the Death Plateau quest, in order to become this build. Another viable build is 60 defense, and at this level you unlock the obsidian armor which gives boost to obsidian weaponry with its set effect. This armor is very equivalent to adamant armor, so it's a little spongy, but the unique thing about this armor is that it has zero negative range bonuses. So if range PKing appeals to you, then this is a great level to achieve, providing a few new max hits and a few new armaments such as dragon boots and the obsidian shield to your obby mauler tank. And the last option for tanks I'm going to be discussing is the 75 defense build. This is a very similar build to the 60 defense build, with quite a bit more CB level investment. However, at this level you do unlock a few new things such as Dragonfire Shield, the Primordial Boots, along with all of the high level tiered armors such as Bandos, Third Age, Barrows, and the new Justicer. So if you do like to PvP a lot, I do recommend sticking with the lower defense build, but this build is a very niche and very cool thing to try out, but very less viable than the aforementioned ones when it comes to PKing. Moving forward, I hope you refer to this guide if you ever want to be reminded about the different obby builds in the game of RuneScape. You can use the time markers in the description down below to review your favorite build types. I hope you all learned a few new pieces of information while watching, and be sure to comment down below, subscribe for more content, and obby maul that like button guys! Make sure to join obby elite clan chat in the game to see me and the rest of the obby gang. Until next time guys, peace.